So I just watched season 3 of The D'Amelio Show, and oh my god, I cannot believe that Hulu keeps renewing this thing. I mean, I have to ask myself, what is the budget for this show? They're already giving the Kardashians $150 million per season for their show, and they're coming out with like two seasons of that a year. So if Dixie and Charlie are even making a tenth of that, good for them, I guess. If you watch season 1 of The D'Amelio Show, then you know it was about the D'Amelio's introduction to fame and moving to LA, which started out a little bit rocky, but eventually worked itself out. However, season 2 took a turn for the worst. There's so much that puts our family life at risk. Get out of my house. <laughs> The entirety of the second season revolved around two things. How much Dixie hates her now ex-boyfriend Noah Beck and wants to break up with him. Uh, so she has broken up with me eight times over the past. People are gonna think I'm an awful human being. And Charlie's singing career, which they were also trying to hide from Dixie. It's just a side hobby. Like my oh, no. passion is just like... like something you're doing for fun. And let's just say that it was a train wreck. Although most of the arguments and problems they had throughout the season were pretty surface level, and a lot of the conversations were just filler for in-between episodes, I decided that I would tune in for season 3. Now it's no secret that the era of TikTokers being the most talked about thing in the world is kinda over. I mean, it's been over since late 2021 slash early 2022. But these influencers are pretty much non-existent on their social media platforms, with Charlie posting maybe once a month, and it's usually a brand deal. And even when the system were advertising season 3 on their TikTok page, the comments were mostly filled with things like I low-key forgot about you and we want Handmaid's Tale season 6. And besides that, there wasn't even that much engagement with the posts. So that led me to think, what could season 3 possibly be about? Well, we start off with Dixie absolutely sobbing and Charlie sitting in a corner. And honestly, if I didn't know any better, I would have thought that someone died. I mean, they really make you think that something bad has happened, and we don't even get to find out what it is because it makes us flash back to 3 months earlier. That's why it's so annoying. Can't even talk about it. Can't get in the middle of it. I'm so <laughs> Which I get from a marketing point of view, but it honestly feels like you can't do that with reality TV. So all I have to say is if this is about Dixie or Charlie's music, I'm gonna log off. Charlie also lets us know that she's been taking a break from music, despite the entire plot of season 2 being about her pursuing it and how it's her new lifelong passion. And as usual, it wouldn't be the D'Amelio show if they didn't flash hate comments on the screen to let us know exactly why she's quitting, including people saying that she's trying to sound like Olivia Rodrigo. And very quickly, we learn what this season is sort of going to be about, with the overall theme being focused on Dixie and Charlie's relationship and basically how they hate each other. You're a little grouchy today and you're taking oh, it so out are on you. me. Yeah, because everyone wants me to look like the bitch, but... Stop being a bitch. Very randomly, Dixie and Charlie get into a fight about I'm not even sure what. Like, the power goes out during their interview and then it turns into... I'm gonna punch you in the face if you don't stop. Just siblings being siblings, I guess. But regardless, it seems like Dixie is the one who actually gets upset about things, and Charlie is just like... I never know how to react, because she either doesn't want anything to do with me and she doesn't want me around. Which then turns into Dixie breaking down at rehearsal from being so tired. What's going on? I'm so... And at this point, as a viewer, I'm just thinking enough is enough. I mean, an overarching theme since season 1 has been Dixie being overworked, and while she reveals that she has PMDD, I think that since January of 2020, both of these girls have been going non-stop, partly due to their own fame, and the other part being their manager forcing brand deals on them. Things quickly escalate between Charlie and Dixie as Charlie is trying to go backstage to see her before her performance, and meanwhile, Dixie is completely ignoring her. How do you even bring up to someone like... My sister is like my biggest bully right now. And when we get a sneak peek into what the rest of the season holds, I was confused. Charlie implies that her and Landon broke up, and the way that it's edited makes it seem like it's because of Dixie. There's so many sides to the story. Landon and I just broke up. Really? I mean, that's at least what I gathered from watching it and Charlie's reaction. We're never gonna talk about what actually happened. Oh, that's <laughs> <laughs> and while I'm sure this is dramatized for TV, it is somewhat concerning that Charlie seems terrified of her own sister, and is at a point where she doesn't even want to live with her anymore. And based off of the previews alone, we know that this is just the beginning of their downfall. 